we, we are looking to invite more people into the city centre and to do that the city centre has to look good, has to be fit for purpose. Our major street at the moment is Academy Street. We want it to be good, we want it to be popular, we want people to walk up at it. That doesn't happen just now. Originally it was designed to carry horses and carts and I think we can all recognise that now is the time to take this opportunity, invest in Academy Street, modernise it and bring it up to date. It's been left behind for, for a long time, especially from when you look at Church Street and you look at the High Street and all the other areas around. This is the worst road within Inverness by far. With the doors open, you get the, the wagons outside, you get a lot of smell and noise coming in, but overall the, the road is just way too busy. If you had a visitor using the train or by bus, the first street you have is Academy Street and it's not welcome. I think everyone would agree that it's not a pleasant street to be on. It's a street you get off as quick as possible and we want to change that. The proposal for Academy Street is only one part of a much wider ambition to increase choice to access the city. This will improve the street for active travel. Private cars whose destination is not the city centre will go around rather than through using the West Link Road and other routes. Reducing traffic means that cycling on carriageway will be safer and more attractive and will free up generous space to ensure accessibility for blind, visually impaired and disabled people. One of the key deliverables is so that we have an easy access and egress from the main station entrance. Part of the Network Rail ma Master Plan is to integrate the railway station with the bus station so we can have easier passenger flow between both. Exciting work's ongoing to create a sustainable priority network for buses in and around Inverness. It's one element of what can happen to actually make the, the flow of buses more efficient. There's a lot of traffic in Academy Street that's using it as a through thoroughfare that probably doesn't need to be there. Change can be difficult for people and I can appreciate that. We need to see the, the bigger picture from an, an access point of view and I do personally feel making it more accessible in that way will bring more people in. It's going to make our lives a lot more easier. Instead of me having to push around like probably about a half a mile longer, I'm going to be able to come out of my house and come straight up that street with no problems at all. The outlook of visitors to the city is really positive. The recovery from the pandemic has been stronger than we expected and with Inverness Castle opening in 2025, it's only going to grow. So now we need to have the right infrastructure in the city to be able to handle that. We need to create great spaces, places where people can stay, to spend their time, to have a comfy seat, to have shelter from the elements. And I think through this investment in Academy Street, we can deliver all of those things, make it better for the visitors, better for us as local people, and better for businesses as well. The Inverness strategy, city vision, it's always the one aim, obviously improve the shopping experience for our, our visitors, for our locals, for our children, for parents, so it's a safe place to go and this is our academy seat is at the heart of it. You know, the pavement culture in many cities is what attracts people in, in to them. And you know, and Inverness can go in the same same direction, no doubt about that. The Highland Council is currently evaluating locations for a park and ride service and throughout the city has also increased and improved infrastructure for cycling and wheeling. It'd be nice to get it done. <laughs>